Hi, let's talk about the superficial vasculature of the face. In this video, we'll talk about the facial artery and its branches, as well as the facial vein and its tributaries. The facial artery is typically the third anteriorly oriented artery off of the external carotid artery. So the common carotid artery bifurcates into the internal and external carotid. The external carotid sends a superior thyroid artery, and then a lingual artery, and then finally a facial artery anteriorly. It's not uncommon for the facial and the lingual arteries to share a common trunk between the two of them. The facial artery moves anteriorly, um, usually inferior and usually deep to the body of the mandible. It's deep to the uh, platysma, and it emerges over the body of the mandible, just anterior to the anterior most attachment of the masseter muscle. The facial artery then courses over the buccal region, moves medially towards the nose, and ascends the face towards the medial angle or canthus of the eye. So let's take a look at the major branches of the facial. So here we can see the fibers of the masseter, one of the major muscles of mastication, inserting on the mandible. Just anterior to that insertion is where we see the facial artery move onto the mandible. And that is approximately the pulse point for the facial artery. The facial artery then ascends, and its first branch is the inferior labial artery. This inferior labial artery is going to supply the mental region with blood, and it's going to meet its counterpart along the midline. The next branch is the superior labial artery. This superior labial artery is going to be much more robust than the inferior labial artery and it too is going to meet its counterpart along the midline. It can also send branches up to serve the nasal cavity, generally the, the septal region of the, the nasal cavity. As the facial artery continues superiorly and medially, it's then going to send a lateral nasal artery out to the side of the nose, and it's not uncommon for that lateral nasal artery to send a nasal branch to serve the lateral wall of the nose. And then finally, the, uh, the distal part beyond lateral nasal artery becomes the angular artery. That angular artery is generally deep to levator labii superioris aliqui nasi muscle, and it heads towards the medial angle or canthus of the eye, hence the name angular artery. As you'll notice here, the branches, or I should say the tributaries of the facial vein are going to mirror those of the facial artery. So there's an angular artery and an angular vein a lateral nasal artery, and a lateral nasal vein, a superior labial artery, a superior labial vein, inferior labial artery, inferior labial vein. But we also have this bonus vein, this deep facial vein. The deep facial vein is draining the buccal space, and it also typically anastomoses with the pterygoid plexus of veins, so those deep veins in the midface. So here we can see a cadaveric image of the facial artery, and one thing that immediately jumps out is that uh, the facial artery and its branches are much more tortuous uh, than uh, one would presume from illustrations. So here is that anterior edge of the masseter coming down. 
Um, sometimes you could palpate a slight depression there at the uh, at the point at which the facial artery uh, enters onto the mandible. Sometimes that's referred to as the premasseteric notch. Anyways, we can see the facial artery in all of its tortuousness. We can see a very modest inferior labial artery, a very, very tortuous facial artery, a very robust and tortuous superior labial artery, and then heading up towards the lateral aspect of the nose, the lateral nasal artery. Uh, this has been cut and reflected, so our angular artery is up there. We can also see some of the venous elements that are mirroring these. So for instance, next to the angular artery, which is here, the angular vein. Um, I don't happen to see a lateral nasal vein here. Um, I see, or perhaps this is the lateral nasal vein. I, I don't see the labial veins there, but we do see a very nice and robust deep facial vein heading into that, uh, that buccal space. Now the, uh, the facial vein, if we turn our attention to uh, the photograph to the, the left here, so just so that we can orient ourselves, here is the angle of the mandible. Here is the submandibular gland here. And we can see the facial artery descending down off of the mandible, going deep to that submandibular gland, which is very typical. We can also see the facial vein exiting the surface of the mandible at approximately the same location. And the facial vein is coming back and it is joining with the anterior division of the retromandibular vein. So these are forming a common trunk there. Sometimes this is just referred to as the continuation of the facial vein. Sometimes it's called the common facial vein. And that is going to drain blood into the internal jugular vein, the IJV. So uh, facial vein meets up with the anterior division of retromandibular to feed into the internal jugular vein. Uh, at this point, you should ask yourself, what happens with that posterior division of retromandibular? Hopefully, you recall from earlier sessions that that posterior division of retromandibular is meeting up with the posterior auricular vein to form the external jugular vein, and that's going to descend over the surface of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now for our assessment question. Uh, the facial vein typically joins with which other vein before draining into the internal jugular vein? Is it the angular vein? Well, the angular vein is up near the medial angle of the eye, so I'm going to say no to that. Brachiocephalic, nada. Brachiocephalic veins are where IJV meets subclavian veins. External jugular veins, uh, External jugular veins are formed from the posterior division of retromandibular and the posterior auricular, so that is a no. Um, retromandibular vein anterior division sounds good so far. Retromandibular posterior division, nope, that's EJ. So the correct answer is facial vein adjoining retromandibular anterior division to drain into the IJV. Thank you very much for your time.